we're loud. Hi everyone, welcome to our Living Peace Ask Us Anything, Ask the Organizer question series. We took a few minutes away from our weekly staff meeting to answer questions that you all submitted. We're gonna do this over the course of three weeks, though we're always happy to hear from you. If any questions, we'll answer just about anything. <laughs> um, so our first question today is, what is the most cluttered space in your own home or biggest trouble area? Because I think people think we're all perfect and we're far from it. <laughs> Anyone wanna tackle that one first? I'll go. Um, my partner and I share an office space and it's just, it's really dark and kind of crowded and he has a bunch of old electric manuals that probably don't need anymore, and I'm trying to encourage him to let go of them. So, nice. this is a work in progress. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? My biggest um, thing for us is always the counters, the kitchen counters and the dining room counters that always end up with the kids' toys and the artwork and the mail and everything. And it's getting people to remember that there is another designated spot to put that stuff. And so it's practicing that habit routine of constantly clearing it off. <laughs> I think that's a common one. <laughs> um, my situation is a little unique, uh, but I'd say uh, my shoes is a big <laughs> trouble area, honestly, because I have I live in a small home and a sailboat. She's being modest. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a tiny home, and, which I love, but. Uh, I've had to downsize on everything, including shoes, and figuring out a system that works with shoes has taken a while, and often it does take a while, and um, it's been a good practice in learning to find a system that works, even if it's, and it works well enough, and, and that's just, yeah, good for now. Because that's your perfect. It doesn't have to be yeah, there doesn't have to be this perfect system. It has to be a system that works and that's that's perfect right there. Yeah. I would say I'm a gift wrap hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> really? All right. You can yeah. confirm that. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, our second question for today is what's your best tip for beating procrastination? I would say um, I always tell clients just try to break it down into steps and start with a really actionable first step. Anybody have a different procrastination answer? Usually I always think I have more time than I do to do a project. So I'm like, of course I can wait till tomorrow to do it. But if I actually sit down and look at when are my available times, I soon realize I actually don't have as much time to get something done, mm -hmm. which is usually the motivator to get it started now versus later. See, I have the opposite problem where usually I think it's gonna take me a lot longer to do something yeah. than it does. Mm -hmm. And just reminding myself, this will probably take you know, whatever time, two minutes, 10 minutes, that helps me actually just start doing it, so. I love the setting the timer for 15 minutes or doing something during a commercial. It really motivates me to do it quick and get back to my seat so I don't miss the next part of the show. Well, these are great, this was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you'll all join us next week. We have more questions coming your way. This has been the Living Peace Team with your Tuesday tip.